Have you ever looked at a drug label and noticed that the active ingredients is followed by HCl or hydrochloride? Have you ever wondered what that means, if it has anything to do with hydrochloric acid or why it's even there? This video will hopefully help answer some of those questions. Many drugs are derivatives of amines or alkaloids, both of which contain basic nitrogen atoms and are often insoluble in water. Therefore, the drugs are often reacted with hydrochloric acid to create a hydrochloride salt. Salts are ionic compounds and are typically more soluble in water, which is preferable for many drugs as it allows them to be faster absorbed by the body. Furthermore, the salts typically have a longer shelf life than the free base components. For a specific example, let's look at cocaine. Cocaine free base is a viscous liquid that can either be injected or smoked, and for some reason I can only find photographs of it stored in condoms. Cocaine hydrochloride is a white powder and can be divided into lines and snorted. Crack cocaine is an impure form of cocaine free base created by neutralization with sodium bicarbonate. Hydrochloride salts are some of the more common organic salts seen in drugs, but there are many others as well. These include citrates, sulfates, bisulfates, tartrates, bitartrates, succinates, fumarates, gluconates, and oxalates. So I recently put together an image featuring 10 scientists with somewhat condescending looks with the caption, Science is not impressed. For when I want to troll my friends on Facebook, because they like to post anti-science comments. I soon realized that none of my friends could name all 10. So this is my challenge for those of you who view this video. Name all 10 of them in any order. First person to do so will get a shout out and a link in the description to either their channel or a video in a future upload. Thanks for watching.